Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to see our future videos. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. So hi guys, this is Rob, Ranger Rob. This is Cinder with me. Uh, she's <laughs> being very affectionate. Anyway, uh, today I want to talk about, all right, back off dog. <coughs> Today I want to talk about K-Cups. Yes, K-Cups, these things right here. Um, of course, you probably don't recognize this, but you might recognize it with a, a lid on it. Uh, K-Cups for your coffee maker. So the Keurig uh, obviously has these K-Cups that uh, everybody has to buy. And uh, some of the best places to buy them is like Costco. If you buy a case of like 120 K-Cups, you're looking at 36 to 42 dollars a case, which comes out to about between 45 and 52 uh, 52 cents per K cup. And so, what I wanted to do is show you a process. Um, I uh, I went to Amazon, and you can buy little lids for K cups, and you can reuse your K uh, your K cup. Now the process, I kind of, uh, it took me a couple of days to kind of get my process down. So I got a little cardboard thing that I keep in the kitchen and all my uh, regular K cups. So you got to start off with some you bought already. Um, I had to start using them and cutting the tops off, rinsing them out and then putting them into a little cardboard uh, container to dry out. I personally like Colombian coffee and I like Uban. So I bought a brand new case of a well, container of Uban. And now I refill my K cups with Uban coffee. I'm pretty sure I'm saving 50%, if not better, on per K cup using the process I'm going to show you. So I recorded it. Uh, the lighting's not the best, but I recorded how I do the process. So, um, the K cup lids, I'll put a description in the uh, uh, description below uh, or a link. And uh, <laughs> several of those days. So <laughs> the lids will have a link below in our description. If you want to go to uh, Amazon and get the same lids, I bought the little case of 100 and you can reuse these. And so just because you only have 100 doesn't mean that's all you can do is 100. Uh, I've reused the same ones over three, four, five times and it's working fine. If you don't drink that much coffee, then probably new lids uh, replacement is the way to go. You can also buy, and I'll put a link below for this, uh, those two is the K-Cup lower section, empty. Uh, you can buy those too, but I'm trying to save you money. So here's my process. Let's run the film. So today I'm going to talk about this disposable cup lids for the K-Cups. So basically you get a box of a hundred of these things and uh, they just come in here like so, you get so many. And uh, I found a way to reuse them and uh, uh, save even more money. So the big part of doing this to really save money is to keep your old Keurigs that you've already used and recycle them. So let me show you how that works. So we're here in my kitchen and I actually have one K cup that I have left over. It's a hazelnut. I'm not really a hazelnut fan. Now usually I go ahead and use this and it'd have a hole in the top. And uh, when I pull it out, normally we just throw these away, but this can be reused. So let's assume that this one's been used and we're gonna cut it open and I'll show you how it works. So all we're going to do here is uh, open this up. Like I said, this is normally used. We cut this open and take the paper out. And this would normally be wet. So uh, we'll dump that out. And that's what the K-cup looks like. It has a filter in the inside right here. And uh, basically what you would do is wash this out in the sink and let it dry out for a day until this is completely dry. So I set up a station. Uh, I keep this little box here to do my process. So this is the cake cup, but normally I put it in here to dry. So uh, once they're all dry, um, then I can actually add coffee to them again. 
Now the thing is, is uh, you can reuse the lid you already used. Now if you don't mind, if you're going through your coffee fast, like I have four or five cups a, a day, so I don't mind recycling, but if your coffee's sitting around a lot, then you probably want to use a new lid without a hole in it. So uh, I'm going to show you what I do. I like Colombian coffee, so I use Juban. So uh, I'm going to re, uh, reload one of these for you so you see the process. It's super simple. So here we go. Yeah. So uh, if you're just starting out and you fill your cake cup up as high as you as you like, but as high as you can is really what you want to do. And then grab one of your lids and put this on the top. Now once again, you can use a used lid if you want to, um, if you're cycling through your coffee a lot. That will help keep um, the ones without the holes obviously will keep it fresh. And if you're going, if you're going to reuse this within a couple days, then just reuse the cap so you can get a box of a hundred and it'll last you a long time. Now with the old ones here, this is one that's been used already. Um, I'm going to use them again and again until I can't use them anymore. So the important thing is here, we're going to pop the cap, empty out the coffee, and then rinse it out in the sink and let everything dry out for a day or two till the, the filters are all dry again before I add coffee to it again. So this is the cake cup that we just made. Uh, I'm just going to put this on my rack. You can see I have some coffee I need to finish up. These these uh, type here, are, uh, <laughs> you can't reuse them. Well, you could, but it'd be kind of silly. Uh, but your old ones with the regular cups in them, uh, you can reuse them. Uh, you can buy the whole cups, an empty cup and a lid, but that's more expensive. So if you're trying to save money on your cake cups, this is the way to go. So this one I've used before, but I'm cycling through my coffee fast. And they fit right in. They, uh, they will fit your Keurig just fine. Sometimes they'll stick a little bit to the top, but that's no big deal. You're saving money. But anyway, uh, they work just great. And uh, so uh, there you go. You want to save a little money on your K-Cups? I don't know exactly what the savings is, but when I buy a box, Here's a box up here from Costco. You're talking about forty dollars for hundred and twenty. Where I'm, I'm, I know I'm doing saving at least fifty percent or more doing my K cups this way. Not a hard process. I basically uh, use them all up, get them in my little cardboard piece there, let them dry out, and then just one evening I'll sit down and refill them all and load it up again, and. Uh, save a little money. So there you go guys. Hope that works good for you. Talk to you later. So I hope that was helpful to you. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, I just got so frustrated spending so much money at going to Costco and my the first $40 of going to Costco was coffee. And so that was kind of frustrating, but I really like the Keurig. I like to get up in the morning, just plop that thing in and push the button and I have coffee. Um, I used to always make the pot of coffee, but if it sits around for a long time, it starts getting a little thick. Uh, so anyway, uh, that was my compromise. So I hope this was useful. All the links will be in the description below. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.